Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at Nightwing Year One, Part Two of Six, which comes from Nightwing number 102 from DC Comics. Uh, this story is entitled Bombs Away. And as you can see here, guest starring Superman, uh, Dixon, Beatty, McDaniel, and Owens are the creative team behind it. It is from March of 20 2005. See here, it takes place in Metropolis. You got the Daily Planet in the background. Uh, you got Robin falling from a skyscraper with a uh, hanging on to a bomb, and Superman swooping in to save the day. Open it up, and we're at the Daily Planet, Nightwing Year One, Chapter Two: Friends in High Places. Uh, here's the. Uh, list of creators here if you want to take a look at that uh, we got some bats in the background kind of foreshadowing dick grayson has come to metropolis to talk to clark kent of course lois lane overhears him requesting to speak with clark she recognizes the name dick grayson this obviously takes place long before superman and lois got married and uh long before she found out Superman was actually a Clark Kent. Uh, of course, she uh, discovers that Dick Grayson is ward to Bruce Wayne. Um, and she kind of comes in shortly after Dick Grayson tells Clark that uh, Batman fired him. She asks how the two know each other. And uh, Dick, the only thing he can think of is that they're both hockey, big hockey fans. So... Uh, then all of a sudden, presidential uh, line comes rolling through Metropolis, and there's a bomber on top of a rooftop. Uh, Superman goes into action, and Dick Grayson swings into action, too. However, Dick is without his Robin costume, since he was forced to leave it, along with most of the accessories in the Batcave. Uh, Superman, however, is able to remove the bomb from... The bomber's uh, chest. However, it appears there's two of them. Um, so, obviously, Dick is able to find the second bomber before Superman can get, get to him. And uh, he holds him over the ledge, but uh, the uh, straps kind of break. And Dick is forced to... Uh, run off with the bomb but then you have this scene here which gives a huge callback to the uh, 66 Batman movie uh, he's talking to Bat Bruce in the uh, in the little blue areas here um I'm not sure if it's a letter or if it's via voicemail, whatever. But he says, you've said it before. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. <laughs> of course, Superman swoops in and saves the day. Apparently the bomb was, uh, uh, he says, lighten up, lad. The timer's a failsafe in case the altitude detonator didn't ignite. So apparently... There's an altitude limit that uh, forces the bomb to explode when it reaches a certain level. Uh, Dick asks Superman what his thoughts are on the whole superhero gig and what happened between him and Bruce. And... Superman then proceeds to tell the tale of a legend on Krypton. Years before he was born, there was a hero named Nightwing. Obviously, Dick loves the name and uh, kind of uses that as inspiration. They proceed to talk about the Fortress of Solitude and a place where uh, they can go... For solitude to be themselves 
you know, at the end of the day, uh, the Fortress of Solitude is Superman's place. The Batcave is Bruce Wayne's place. Uh, he asks Dick if he has a place like that. And so, Dick returns to the one place that he has always called home. Haley's Circus. Uh, we get a few scenes between Batman and Alfred. Um, and then Dick returns to the circus and stops a couple thieves who are stealing the payroll. Uh, this is the first time he uses some uh, batons to uh, do his work. And of course, everybody knows him right off the bat. They realize it's Dick Grayson. And they offer him his job back. As long as he can perform with a, without a net, which shouldn't be hard for the boy Wonder. Uh, but he's forced to team up with a living dead man, Boston Brand. So there you have it, guys. Um, I really like this issue. I really like the reference to the 66 Batman movie. Uh, I liked how they, they're they working towards the origin of dead man as well. Um, and I liked how Superman... Explained to Dick he didn't really need a partner. He had no desire to have a partner. Um, that maybe it was time for Dick to go off on his own. Uh, I really liked how he said maybe maybe this is your chance to have a normal life. Uh, stop with the capes and tights and everything. And Dick said, you know, honestly, I've thought about it for about five seconds. But this this is who I am now. Great story, guys. I really got into this Nightwing Year One storyline. Here we are with issue six, or I'm sorry, with part two of six. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow for another uh, episode where we take a look at Nightwing number 103, Nightwing Year One, part three of six. Right there. I'm Shannon for Comic Ed and TV. Take care, guys.